Hello everyone, uh, I'd just like to point out before the video begins, this video's concept was conceived before Nahida's release, but at the time of recording and editing, Nahida is out, but unfortunately I personally don't have Nahida, so I couldn't conduct these tests with her. So I hope for your understanding, I will be using Dendro Traveler for the entirety of the Aggravate showcases. Since this is a more controlled experiment, I suspect that it shouldn't be too different, so I just hope for your understanding. Alright, back to the video. Alright guys. I play Raiden Shogun a lot. I play her in a hyper carry team, majority of the time in the Abyss. She's usually the first go-to team I will set, and that's cool and all, but what about Aggravate? Now that we've had Dendro, I haven't had the chance to test this, but I was very curious on the differences between Aggravate and Hyper Carry Raiden, and if there were significant benefits to going one way or the other. Aggravate has been shown to improve a lot of the previous Electro DPSs, such as Yai Miko, Kaching, or Fischl. So why not Raiden Shogun? So because of that, we're going to be doing some testing. All of the tests conducted will have Raiden at max resolve for consistency. She'll also be taking 20% crit rate food so that there are less variables to look out for when testing and also honestly for my own sanity. My Raiden build will not change for these tests and you might be wondering why I won't be using an Elemental Mastery Sans and that is because my Kazuha's Constellation 2 will provide 200 Elemental Mastery to her anyways so I don't want to give her more Elemental Mastery than she would normally have. The rest of my supports are also geared to do as little damage as possible so that Raiden will be the one doing most of the damage. First off, let's see how much Raiden does on her own. So a pretty decent amount, but not really anything too special. So now let's do the team comparison. For the hyper carry team, her supports will be Sara, Kazuha, and Bennett. And for the aggravate team, the teammates will be the same, with the exception of Sara being swapped out for Dendro Traveler. As you can see, they were very, very close, with the Hyper Carry just edging out a slight bit over the Aggravate team. Because Raiden Shogun does so much damage, it's really hard to say which one was really better than the other, and you could chalk it up to execution differences and such. I did do all of these tests at least twice, so I just took the best time. However, the reason why my Raiden Shogun is doing so much is because she is at Constellation 2. So because of that, I felt like my tests were a bit skewed, so I wanted to do this with a C0 Raiden instead. So I borrowed my friend Ewan's account to do these tests. For these tests, because he does not have a constellation to Kazuha, Raiden's aggravate build will have an elemental mastery sans. Also, his Sara does not have a skyward harp, and her talents and level are really really low, so she will be allowed to take the elegy for the end with the passive proct, so that Raiden can gain an additional 20% attack from the weapon. Once again, let's see how much Raiden does on her own first. Shouldn't be surprising, not a lot of damage. As you can see, Raiden doesn't really do that much on her own. But before we get into the comparison between the Hyper Carry and Aggravate team, I would just like to show the difference for Raiden using an Attack Sense versus an Elemental Mastery Sense for the Aggravate team. <laughs> And just for comparison's sake, uh, they were honestly so close that I felt it didn't really matter. I think the EM one did come out like barely, but the difference is really so minute that I think it doesn't really make a difference. So for the test, I will be using the Elemental Mastery Sands. Now actually moving on to the comparison for the Aggravate team versus the Hyper Carry team. <laughs> As you can see, even with an underleveled Sara, the Hyper Carry team was able to one cycle the Primo Geo Vishap, where the Aggravate team could not. And it was only after recording that I realized that the Hyper Carry team didn't actually have crit rate food on. So she did miss a few crits on some of her slashes, but that honestly didn't matter because she was still able to one cycle it while the Aggravate team was unable to, being just shy of one cycling the Primo Geo Vishap. So from these results, I think it's clear that the Hyper Carry team is more beneficial to Raiden than the Aggravate team. But the important 
important thing I want to answer is why is that the case? Because there's very, very clear cut answers. For those of you who don't know what Aggravate is, when Aggravate is triggered, it will apply a flat electro damage buff to your electro character's attacks. Because Aggravate is flat and not a multiplier, it really benefits low scalings more than high scalings. Characters like Fisho, Yaimiko, and Kaching all output consistent but very low damage scaling attacks. Whereas someone like Raiden has a huge burst of damage within her 7 second burst window, with the initial hit doing a ton of damage and her full up slashes having very high scalings individually. Because her scalings are already so high, applying a small flat damage bonus is not going to do much for Raiden Shogun. Whereas for a character like Kaching, who consistently does electro damage with very low scalings, when you add that flat attack bonus to each one of her small attacks, it adds up a lot over time and allows a character like Kaching to do way more damage than she used to without aggravate. This is the reason why aggravate does not benefit someone like Raiden Shogun, but benefits someone like Fischl, Kaching, or Yaimiko. It's basically really there to raise the floor for the other Electro characters who have low damage, but also doesn't really raise the ceiling for a character like Raiden, whose damage is already monstrously high. This is also the reason why Sino benefits so greatly from Aggravate. It's because his damage is awful without it. He does many many attacks, all of which have very low scalings, and Aggravate applying a flat attack bonus to each one of them makes him do significantly more damage. So, what is my conclusion to all this? Normally, I would just say, yeah, don't play an Aggravate Raiden, just play a Hyper Carry Raiden. It's definitely better and does more damage. However, I think the answer is not so clear cut and dry. And the reason is because not everybody has a Constellation 6 Sara. I still know people who do not have Constellation 6 Saras, which makes it very difficult for them to play a Hyper Carry Raiden, because honestly, Sara without her Constellation 6 is like a D tier character. And because the performance of Aggravate Raiden honestly isn't that far off from Hyper Carry Raiden, like it's definitely not as good, but it's also not that crazy far off. So for those of you who do not have a Constellation 6 Sara, or just don't want to play Sara, Aggravate Raiden is definitely a completely viable option. It still performs very very well, and while I haven't tested it, I'm sure it will do about as well if not better than a typical Raiden National. Since a Raiden National doesn't boost Raiden's own damage, but Aggravate does. Of course, now that we have Nahida, I'm sure the results are slightly different if you have Nahida, and I'm sure Aggravate Raiden will also perform better if you have that character. But for those of you who do not have Nahida or do not have Constellation 6 Sara, don't be afraid to play Aggravate Raiden. It is a perfectly viable option, and I'm sure will do very well even in the Abyss. I mean, if even a character like Kaching can 36 star the Abyss, I'm sure an Aggravate Raiden definitely can. Anyways, that was just a quick comparison between an Elemental Mastery Aggravate Raiden versus a standard Hyper Carry Raiden team. Hope you all enjoyed the comparison, and I'd like to direct you to twitch.tv slash dukc, where I do sometimes stream Genshin Impact. Thanks for watching once again, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Take care.